Welcome back to another episode of Smashing That Bass. Today I will not be paying the bait. I just don't have a ton of time this weekend. Plus I was kind of playing around with some stuff I'm going to show you today. Um, just trying to improve my skills a little. So right now in front of me I have two mega bass baits. Um, I just kind of wanted to bring this out in the open for some people that might just be getting into the uh, the bait painting uh, portion um, of bass fishing. So up top here is like one of your Amazon uh, Mega Bass 110 copy jerk baits. I'm telling you now, they're trash. They are trash. Um, they have okay action. They are not durable whatsoever. And I'll show you right here what I'm talking about. Here's the same jerk bait that I painted. See how it broke in half? That was maybe after 15, 20 cast max. Um, these are great baits to uh, to learn on. I also painted a second one um, from the Amazon type brand, and the lip broke off probably the sixth or seventh cast. I mean, they're just they're trash. You know, they're just they're no good. Um, so, like I said, they're great to practice on if that's what you would like to do. This here is a, another Mega Bass blank from Sugar Tit. Um, it's, a, it's definitely more high end than this Amazon one. You can just tell kind of by the weight. You can just kind of tell by feeling it. Like this just feels more solid. You know, like it's going to pull you in a bunch of fish before something happens to it. Unlike this Amazon jerk bait. Um, you can probably also tell that the one from Sugar Tit here is seems to be a little bit wider than a normal um, like standard uh, 110 Mega Bass. Um, that doesn't really bother me any. This seems to be more of a traditional look. Um, if you look at them, maybe even the sweep on the tail here seems like it's more traditional. Um, but they're just, they're not worth the money, man. It's not worth your time painting a good paint job, you know, throwing your hooks on it or something like that and then losing a hook or two or, you know, losing, you know, losing the, uh, you know, the hooks and the split rings you put on there. To me, it's just not worth it. Um, but they're great if you want to try a new pattern, kind of like I have here. You know, I kind of tried a new pattern here, and that's what I use these for now. You know, just to try new colors, new patterns, you know, that, that sort of thing. So they're, they're great for that. I have not thrown this yet. Um, so I'll be painting one of these probably in the next couple weeks. Um, and then maybe I'll take it out. Depends on if everything's frozen by now, but I'm curious to see how this does work. I did buy another one from Sugar Tit, like a $3 one, and even higher end, uh, quite a bit larger. Uh, we'll get into that into another video. So, um, if you've been watching my channel for any time, you know I've been using this foil. I just recently picked up probably about a month ago, okay? So, um, here are some of the baits I just foiled today. And uh, we'll turn on the light here in a minute and give, give you a better look. But I just kind of want to talk before that fan kicks on. Um, this bait here is kind of like this, but a heck of a lot smaller. It's what I call a smooth style bait. There's no, you know, like uh, scale type patterns on it. Um, so this stuff lays a lot better on there and it goes down in the first shot. You might have to throw a second shot on there. You know, I use an iron. Um, I don't really use a press. A press, you'd probably only need one shot. I got to do it about twice if I use a smooth bait. Um, and it, it shows up really good. Like I said, we'll, we'll show you here in a minute uh, with the light. Um, so also what I did is I did one of these. And um, this is the type that has like the, like the fake scales in the plastic. Um, so it doesn't... It shows up in person kind of slightly. You can, you might be able to see it once we turn the light on, right? Like all those colors in this premise uh, type pattern. So if you look here, you can see all the different colors, right? You can see like, you know, like a green, a blue. You know, you can see them there, a red. Well, if I take this one that has like the, uh, the fake um, scales on it, you can probably just barely see. You can see it on the on the gill better because there's no um, like scale type pattern. It's just a, a smooth surface. So uh, if you get what I'm saying here, 
you can't really see it on that scaled surface. Um, so there's a difference there, but there's something that I figured out today where you can actually make this look, in my opinion, a little better. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So here's a scaled type pattern. And you can see, you can see that that blue, that green, you can see that real good. And I actually dig that over that over that um, gold, right? So what I did, since it didn't show up as well like it did on this smooth bait, okay, is after I applied this, I also have some of this, and it's a translucent, right? Didn't wasn't sure how this was gonna work. Um, it worked out really well, but there's your translucent type foil, right? So all I did, stamp this on there about three or four times, came back over top of it with this. Now, what I have also learned also in stamping these baits is if you take something kind of like a toothpick or whatever, and you put your foil on your bait, and you get it, you get your uh, your heat pad hot, and you press it on real good, right? What I do is I take it off, and I'll I'll typically I'm just using this clip for an example, but I'll typically take a um, toothpick and I'll rub it like this real quick that way, real quick this way, just just to maybe try to get some of that um, foil to kind of sink into those um, raised scales a little better. Um, so I, this is kind of what I figured out today, and I'm, I'm actually really digging that. I'll be doing more of those, but I actually wound up doing this one. Uh, this one I kind of left alone. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave that. Um, I did this jerk, uh, jerk bait here. Um, I also did um, another jerk bait here. It's got gill patterns. I actually did the top on this. Uh, when I go to paint this, I don't know um, exactly how I'm going to do that i'm thinking of throwing some stuff here just because some, some didn't stick down in here it's kind of hard to get it down in there but i did get some um so let's go ahead and show you guys these um in the light and then this will pretty much uh, wrap it up so you can really see that probably a lot better now this is the flat jerk bait where it has no rough surface at all this is more of your rough kind of jerk bait with those fake scales like I said I can definitely see it here it doesn't look terrible but it's not nearly as bright of a shine with the colors as, as this one is I mean, it's not even really all that close, except for up there on that gill plate. So here's the one using that same um, premise foil, but putting that clear over top of it. That turned out really well. Thank all of you for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe learned something. Um, if you want to know where I get my fold, just ask me down in the comments section below. I'll be glad to tell you. I'll send you the link or, or, or whatever it is that you need to, uh, to pick up some of this foil. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you all in the next one.